terms of good day class. So, ito yung second video about work breakdown structure. So, last time, we talked about yung dalawang method kung paano ipipreset or prepare ang work breakdown structure. So, una ay diagram method at pangalawa ay outline method. So, yung nakita nyo ngayon sa ating uh, uh, interface ng MS Word is ito ay example ng diagram method. So, sa, paano ito gagawin? So, ang gagamitin natin is yung smart part ng MS Word. So, meron tayong another page dito. So, select. So, paano mapupunta sa smart art? So, sa insert menu, click smart art na lalabas sa dialog box. Then, click hierarchy, organizational chart. So, pwede naman kahit alin dyan. So, medyo madali lang kasi tignan kapag organizational chart. So, okay. Then, ganyan lang siya. So, paano natin to i-edit na maging uh, diagram siya? So, palalakihin ko lang. Walang problema yan. Kasi mamaya, kapag dumami na yung laman yan, liliit din yan. Automatic yan mag -adjust. So, paano, yan, mag paano natin yan ma-edit ma yung laman? I-click natin ito sa may left side. Click natin yan. Then, ito yung maging laman niya. So, ibig sabihin na itong una, tatanggalin natin yan. Yan ay assistant. So, we will create for now a uh, three-story building. Three-story story building. So, this example natin ngayon is three-story building. So, gagawa tayo ng diagram work breakdown structure ng three-story building. So, sa unang level, ito yung natawag natin level, yung unang uh, balangkas or uh, yung pinaka-broad na outline natin. Una, sa aking gagawin is earthworks. So, node is uh, structural. Nakikita nyo, automatic nag adjust yung ating diagram. Then, architectural. Then, mechanical. So, for now, yung mechanical, dahil 3-story naman to, pwede mo natin alis yung mechanical. Electrical, then plumbing, and sanitary. Or plumbing, sanitary. Or simply plumbing. Okay? So, ganyan siya. So, basically, yan yung uh, unang level natin. Yung unang balangkas. Or yung tatlo, or yung limang uh, partition ng mga activities or uri na activities under ng three-story building. So, this is level 1. So, ngayon, let's create for the second level. So, sa earthworks, syempre, ano ba yung mga earth? It, pinipindot ko tab. So, paano na siya gagawin? Is, isipin natin, ano ba yung mga earthworks or mga gawain lupa sa, sa, sa building natin. So, una, excavation, paghukay. Kapag hinukay, ibabalik mo, kaya nga backfill. Or kapag medyo may ibang tawag pa at ibang earth fill. Then next is kapag binakfill mo kasi, yung, yung binakfill mo, ikakalat mo, ipapantay mo. Ang tawag doon, spreading and leveling. Then syempre, habang ini-spread mo nila level mo per layer per layer, kinocompact mo yan. Compaction. Minsan, minsan, yung mga project na merong tinatawag na soil, Displacement. Ibig sabihin niyan, yung lupa originally is uh, dapat palitan. Okay? Sa so, mapapansin nyo, automatic nag adjust So, sa structural, is nahati yan. Kung yan ay uh, concrete, so, mauunahin natin is reinforcing steel. Yung bakal. Then, form works. Then, next would be concrete. Concrete thing, concrete placement. Kung merong structural steel, then lagyan natin structural steel. Okay? So, architectural, uh, babalangkas pa natin yan sa, una sa hig siguro, sa hig muna, floor, finish, wall, finish, and uh, ceiling, finish. Part ng architectural yung doors and windows. Okay? So, tsaka na natin gawin itong sa electrical and plumbing. So, for now, ito muna siya. So, this is third level. Uh, siguro lagyan natin electrical. Power line and yung lighting. Sa plumbing, ganun din. Water line, yung malinis sa tubig. At yung maruming tubig. At drainage. Drainage. Okay? So, sa... Ngayon, itutuloy pa natin yan. Kung this is, this is the second level, so itutuloy pa natin yan up to third level. 
So excavation, so iba't ibang i-breakdown pa natin yung excavation kasi meron pang iba't ibang uri pa ng excavation. Okay? So una, yung excavation ng mismong footing. Then yung excavation ng mga wall footing, yung mga non-structural elements sa ground. Then minsan, depende sa construction methodology mo, may excavation pa for XFTB. May depende sa method. Kapag hindi ganun yung method mo, then basically hindi mo kailangan gawin yan. So... Sa reinforcing steel, ano ba yung mga babakala natin parts or element? Halimbawa, footing, column, beam, and then finally, slab. Kung meron ka pang walls or sheer wall, nagyan natin ang wall. Okay? So, footing, ibabalangkas pa natin ulit yan. So, babalangkas natin our column footing, wall footing, at yung iba't iba pa kang, ka pang mga uri ng Putting. Sa column, uh, let's start foundation to ground floor, ground floor to second floor, second floor to third floor, then finally, third floor to the roof beam, yun yung magpapagpapatawa ng ating bubong. Then sa beam, mauna dyan, putting tie beam. Okay? After ng putting tie beam, will be... Uh, Second floor beams, then third floor beams, and then finally roof beams. Roof beams yun yung pagpapatungan ng ating bubo. Then sa slab natin is uh, slab on grade. After na slab on grade, second floor slab, suspended slab. Third floor suspended slab. Then, syempre, wala nang wala nang wala nang wala nang slab sa bandang roof. Wall, depende. Uh, break down na natin kung if necessary. Okay? Ngayon, sa so nagawa natin na ngayon, syempre, typical na lang yan. Okay? So, gagawin ko na lang dyan. Kaka-copy-paste ko. Copy. Enter, tab, and paste. Enter, tab, and paste. So, makikita nyo, nag-adjust automatically yung ating uh, chart natin sa kanan. Then, architectural. So, floor finish. So, pwede natin hati-hatiin pa yan, siguro. Ground floor, second floor, and third floor. Okay? Then, bawat ground floor, second floor, third floor, kapag meron pang iba't iba pang uri, then, pwede pa siyang i-break down into pieces. Okay? Okay? Ganyan. Oops. Tab. Then, tab. Okay? Do, so, ganyan siya. So, ganito yung itsura na kalabasan ng ating diagram method ng work breakdown structure. So, ang problema sa ganitong method kasi, kapag ito pinrate mo, hindi mo ito mababasa. Okay, nababasa naman to kapag naka soft copy ka. Pero pag pinrate mo yan, medyo... Uh, hindi madaling maintindihan. So, magiging solution dyan, pag iwahiwalayin mo ng papel, so, mas maganda yung second method natin. So, sa next video, gagawin naman natin is